Welcome to the channel guys. In this video, we're taking a look at multi-chain. This is formerly known as AnySwap, and this is a router protocol that allows you to move your funds from one chain to another. As we're moving into a more multi-chain world with loads of different possibilities and opportunities on different chains, you want to be up to speed with exactly how to move your funds across different chains. So I'll be doing a full tutorial here on using the router on multi-chain. If you enjoy the content and you find it useful, drop me a comment, put a thumbs up on the video, and check out the pinned comment down below. That is gonna take you over to Surfshark. I always use a VPN when carrying out any crypto-based transaction. Utilizing a VPN is essential for crypto activities. Keep yourself secure and private online. You don't want your IP address to be tracked down, and so this will keep you safe from potential hacks and other privacy-based infringements. So typically, I will change my IP address over to Switzerland as per right now, and this just gives me full confidence that I'm not being tracked online. So let's jump into the actual protocol. It's called multi-chain here, cross-chain router protocol, the ultimate router for web 3.0. So as I've mentioned, we're moving to a cross-chain future. If you've got funds, say on Moon River, and you wanna move them over to Ethereum or to Polygon or Avalanche or any of these combinations, you can now do so very easily utilizing this protocol. And this protocol itself is actually being inbuilt into new dApps. So they use this on the back end to ensure smooth transfer of value. They've done over $40 billion in volume thus far, and so this has a very good reputation, 30 chains enabled. So you can do swaps with no slippage, it's fully non-custodial, and it works very easily. So we're going to jump into that right about now, but from here you can see all these supported chains. They've pretty much got you covered on any potential chain that you're probably using right now. So if we just enter the app, and here we are. So as it says at the top here, multi-chain formerly known as AnySwap. So let's go through the tabs. The first one here just says multi, and this one is to swap your previous AnySwap tokens into the new multi token. So unless you're a holder of the AnySwap token and you want to migrate to the new token standard, then there's no need for you to actually enter onto this tab. These are the ones we want to use. The first one is the router. This is where we can actually move our funds from one chain to the other, and this will be the tutorial. Then we have pool. So the major upgrade they've done since AnySwap is the fact that previously you could bridge between two different chains with a minting and burning mechanism, but now they've employed these pools, pools of liquidity on the various chains, so you can easily swap between them, and this really speeds up the transaction time for moving your funds across chain. And as you can see, the liquidity pools denote how much liquidity there is for each of these tokens on various networks. And if you want to move maybe more obscure tokens, you need to have a little look through here just to make sure there is liquidity. For example, this token has none, so you probably want to move some fairly plain tokens such as dollars i would imagine because they have deep liquidity on here usdt usdc die amongst others here so that is the pool and that is the major upgrade from a bridging protocol to this new router protocol they then have their own explorer where you can track your various transactions and also a support center as well if you get into any trouble. So let's start here on this router tab. So as you can see, I've got my Binance Smart Chain wallet enabled and connected. So I've got a bit of a test account here and I've put 15 bucks into it. And I've also got some BNB on here for gas. That's one thing to remember, you're gonna to want to have the native gas token on the various network you're moving your funds towards. Typically, you can search for a faucet online for particular chains, and there may be one out there for you. If not, you're going to have to buy some of the token and ship it over to this various address. Crypto.com is excellent for that. Now, let's roll through some information here. We've got USDC coin. I've got 15 bucks worth in there. You can see there's a Binance Smart Chain pool, plenty of liquidity over $52 million. Over on this chain, this is the Ethereum mainnet. I'm not actually going to move to this, but I want to highlight the following. This has a high fee due to the ETH gas cost. So the minimum cross-chain fee is 0.1%, and they will charge you a minimum of $80 for a transaction, a maximum of $1,000, and the minimum cross-chain amount you can send is $85. So Ethereum is, of course, the most expensive chain to utilize. If you can avoid using this one, I would highly recommend doing so. Luckily, we're gonna move on to some cheaper alternatives. So we're gonna move USDC from Binance Smart Chain over onto the Polygon network first. So from this menu here, I'm just gonna find Polygon. There it is, Polygon mainnet. Click on that, and then we can see the Polygon pool has emerged. There's about $7 million of liquidity on there, so no issues. Now we can see the actual fees. 
So there is a 0% cross-chain fee, excellent, but their fee, their base fee here is 90 cents. And the minimum amount we can send over is 12 US dollars. And they suggest the estimated time of arrival is around 10 to 30 minutes. I've got a stopwatch on hand. I will time this for you guys. And if you're moving huge sums of money, I'm sure no one is moving $5 million who's watching this, but that can take up to 12 hours. So we've got BSC mainnet enabled. I do have my Polygon account already set up on my MetaMask and I do have some Matic tokens in there already. So there should be no issues here. If you've not done that previously, when we actually go to switch networks directly on here, it will prompt you to import the RPC. And that just means you will then get the network added to your list on your MetaMask. Pretty simple stuff, a little bit technical, but the system will just do it automatically for you. So no need to fret on that part. So let's move these 15 bucks over. So we've got BSC enabled, we've got $15. I'm gonna move it over to USDC, the same token, but on Polygon. And I've seen there's a 90 cent fee. So I'm gonna get $14.10. Now, as this is the first time I'm utilizing USDC on this network, I have to first approve USDC. So we just approve the token, step one, press this approve button here and then confirm in MetaMask with a small fee, press confirm and wait for that to go through. And then once that has gone through, they've approved the token for transfer, we can then click the swap button. So that transaction has now confirmed and I can press swap down here. And once I swap again, I've got to confirm my $15 is gonna leave the Binance Smart Chain network and move to the Polygon network. The same address is printed on both. That is my address here. And it says three to 30 minutes here for the transaction. I'm gonna press confirm and then approve it in MetaMask. And now I'm gonna start my timer, see exactly how long this takes to move to Polygon. Confirmed in just 13 seconds. So I've got a confirmation after just 13 seconds. I'm now gonna switch the network to Polygon and see if the dollars are there. So on my MetaMask, just selecting instead of Binance Smart Chain, the Matic network just by here. And there we have it in my assets. You can see $14.10 of USDC has now appeared. So that was just 13 seconds from BSC to Polygon. So nowhere near as long as they estimated. So now that I'm on the Polygon network with my $14.10 in USDC, I'm gonna move these to another network. So another popular network here is of course Phantom. So I'm gonna move USDC from Polygon to Phantom. There's over $6.9 million of USDC on Polygon, but what is there gonna be on Phantom? 6,255, so a lot less liquidity, but definitely enough for my transaction of just 13 bucks here. Again, there's no cross-chain fee, but they do take a 90 cents cross-chain transaction, hence $14.10 will just be $13.20 on Phantom, and the minimum cross-chain amount is 12 USDC. They say the estimated time of arrival, 10 to 30 minutes. So as per the last transaction, all I need to do now is press approve USDC because I haven't utilized it on Polygon before. So go through that and then in MetaMask, confirm a transaction, pay a little bit of gas and then watch that go through. And now that's just confirmed down here. Just had to correct the phantom mainnet there. It reverted back to BSC as I press refresh but I approved the token on Polygon already. So I'm now gonna swap from Polygon through to the Phantom Network. Both addresses are the same on that test account once more. ETA, three to 13 minutes, press confirm, and then also confirm directly in MetaMask. And I'm gonna time exactly how long this takes. So that just confirmed in around eight seconds. We're gonna flip over to the Phantom mainnet and see if those funds have arrived. So that actually took a few more minutes. It took six minutes in total. It confirmed quickly on Polygon, but for it to show up on Phantom, it took another five, six minutes time. So now I've got my $13.20 over here on Phantom. So we've moved from BSC through to Polygon and Polygon through to Phantom. I've lost $1.80 in performing this little tutorial here, but you can see it's pretty simple to use. No real heart in the mouth moments waiting for your funds to come through. They do come through in good time and you can check all these things out on the Explorer of the various network. So you can see the transaction here on FTM scan for that $13.20 arriving. Now a small bit of a bonus clip here, we have a faucet for the Phantom Network here. I'll leave it in the description down below. All you need to do is pop in your wallet address and it has to be the first time that you've actually had funds onto the Phantom wallet and you've got to have zero Phantom balance on there. Hence, this is a backstop just to rescue people so they can transact over on the Phantom Network. 
so I didn't prepare any gas on there. I wanted to see if this worked out and it looks like it's going through pretty swiftly. And Spooky Swap sponsored this drop. Let's have a little look at my MetaMask. Now you can see my 0.2 Phantom from that faucet have arrived and there's an import button here. I'm just gonna pull across the USDC on Phantom contract address. So on that previous transaction, I'll go to USDC coin here. This is on Phantom Scan. Take that contract address, copy it, and then enter it into my MetaMask over here so I can see that USDC. Very simple to do, copy and paste job, add custom token and import. And there we have it, 0.2 Phantom, 13.2 USDC ready to rock and roll. So this shows you it's pretty easy to move funds across these various networks using multi-chain. This is the best bridging slash routing function I've seen and used personally. And this means you can now take full advantage of farming opportunities or other things on these various networks, maybe on Spooky on Phantom, QuickSwap over on the Polygon Matic network, or PancakeSwap over on BSC. You can easily move your funds across now and ensure you take advantage of the next hottest trend. Remember to check out Surfshark for a VPN link down below, folks. Well worth having. But that is pretty much it. That's a wrap for today's video. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. But I hope this was a very useful tutorial you can send to your friends to utilize multi-chain and get to grips with a multi-chain universe. Thanks for watching and goodbye.